Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yao Enen. I am the manager of economic development at Dufferin County. And uh, today I'll be speaking on healthy communities, uh, specifically recreation and tourism. And so we know that Dufferin County is experiencing a lot of growth. Uh, we also know that there's a lot of growth happening outside of Dufferin County. Uh, all this growth we anticipate will have significant impacts uh, on our recreation and tourism infrastructure. And so one of the questions that I would like us to think about uh, throughout the next few slides is what type of programs can be used to grow and attract tourism programs? Uh, and how do we overcome the challenge of limited year-round recreational and tourism activities? And so I'd like to first start off with presenting um, what, I, what I view as the value of tourism within the community, even though there may be um, conflicts in views and challenges sometimes uh, with, with tourism. And one of the first things is it can help with the physical health and well being of the community. Um, tourism can encourage both tourists and, to and residents to engage in physical activities, leading, leading to improved physical and mental health outcomes. It can help with economic growth and job creation, improved infrastructure and services, uh, preservation of cultural heritage, environmental conservation, as well as social and cultural exchange, uh, interactions with tourists, expose. Uh, community members to diverse backgrounds and perspectives, fostering a more inclusive and open-minded society. And so some of the possible solutions to, to the challenges that Dufferin County uh, may be facing. Uh, we do know that Dufferin County may struggle to attract uh, tourists uh, due to a lack of new recreation-focused infrastructure and amenities. Uh, support may be limited due to tourism activity and existing residents use clashing uh, that could be mitigated with better long-term land use planning. Um, Dufferin County faces the challenge of limited year-round recreational and tourism activities. And so some of the possible solutions for, for, for these challenges is to create tourism-focused growth strategies that limit negative impacts uh, for residents, uh, support community and cultural development through considerations of the local official plans, as well as incentivize tourism investments, uh, example, community improvement plan, CIPs, or the municipal accommodation tax, the MAT. And in the next slide, I'll talk a little bit more about this, the MAT. Um, this is not um, something that um, the county can uh, institute, but this is certainly something that other municipalities have put in place uh, to support some of the uh, tourism initiatives. And so the municipal accommodation tax is a levy that is imposed on overnight stays in hotels, motels, and other accommodations within a municipality. Um, the funds can be used for infrastructure development, destination marketing, cultural and heritage preservation, events and festivals, as well as tourism products development. And so when you're thinking about all the challenges with tourism within a county, um, this is one tool that other municipalities have used to address uh, some of those challenges. And that brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you.